Okay, Brian just, uh, Brian Boone from Got Solar installed. Uh, just got done installing on this 03 Newmar Mountain Air. Brian, what'd you do here? We installed six six volt AGMs, 225 amp hours, or 675 amp hours total, 300 usable. We installed a MagnaSign Pure Sign 2800 watt Magnum inverter with charger, 125 amp charger. Two Blue Sky Energy Solar Boost 3024Is. You can stack eight of those on the same IPN Pro remote. We've got two disconnect switches to turn off the solar to the controller. And 50 amp resettable circuit breakers. So you don't have to worry about fuses anymore. And then uh, we've got uh, the shunt there that reads to the IPN Pro remote for amperage, voltage, minute uh, readings. We have a 400 amp T fuse for the inverter on 4 aught wire. Uh, we had to move the batteries from the other side of the coach over to here because there wasn't enough room. So the whole system is in one bay and can be a shelf put over the top so this bay can still be utilized for eight inches on top. AGMs, there's really no maintenance to them. No maintenance. Uh, they can be in the same compartment. The only time they vent is uh, if you're overcharging them or equalizing them, which you shouldn't be doing. And it has a, a safety vent on there to allow excess gas out. Uh, as long, this system here has all the protocols needed for keeping the batteries at maximum voltage without overcharging so that overcharging and venting is not going to happen. Um, now if he went with Trojan like T105's lead acid. Couldn't have put them in there. You couldn't have put all that together. No. You'd had to put separate. Separate bays. Now earlier when he was doing his walkthrough you was telling him that you don't equalize these. Nope. Like a have, lead acid. Yeah lead acid you can pull the tops off so they vent. These they have an emergency vent so they're not made for equalizing. Now lifetime batteries says that you can equalize their batteries but they're the only ones so I don't know I, I would tell you no. But now if you have lead acid with these chargers you go to the IPN and it will do it every 30 days how you 30 set up days. that correct? Yeah. The IPN Pro Remote in my opinion is one of the better uh, battery monitors. It monitors the solar, it man monitors the battery, it's got a slew of information on it. I mean you, you can take it, you can uh, tweak these batteries to, to get every ounce of power out of them on that IPN Pro. Plus you can read how many amp hours the each item in the house is running, uh, how many amp hours you are from full in the morning, until, so you know exactly when you can start using bigger items. It's just a very, very good remote and would highly recommend it anytime you get solar boost equipment, blue sky equipment. Now what about uh, if one day down the road he just decides to go to lithium, what does he have to do? He has to unplug all this stuff, put the lithiums in, put the cables back on, and adjust the uh, charge rate on the Magnum in the Blue Sky and you're done. No added equipment. No added equipment. Just In fact, these Battleborn lithium batteries can be charged on uh, the converter. Battleborn says most converters only go to 13.6. Uh, Battleborn says that's okay, it's just going to take longer to get to a full charge battery. So. They're the perfect <clears throat> drop-in battery lithium for any RVer, especially RVers, because most RVers don't take care of their batteries, and uh, they have they have a built-in BMS battery monitoring system built into each battery, keeps it from over voltage, under voltage, over temp, under temp, maintains each cell, uh, just. 
everything. Go to the Battleborn website. They're made in Reno, Nevada by Americans. Uh, I think that's number one in this country. You should be buying American products. Amen. Now, how many panels do you have up here? It's got six panels, six 165s, and uh, it should be pushing about 60 amps. He can put two more panels on this controller, on the slave, for a maximum output of 80 amps. Uh, they're on tilts. Only need to tilt December, January, February, wherever you're at. Now this is pretty much an average system that you set up, isn't it? Pretty much. A little more than average. The average, average system, basic average system is a magnum inverter, one controller, four batteries, four panels. That's the average. So this is a little more than average. This is the system you would put in if you have a residential refrigerator. Minimum six batteries, six panels, eight's better. But but it'll run. It'll run. And then uh, on electric coaches, you're running uh, 10 panels, 10 batteries, minimum. 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 So now he has six panels, almost 1,000 watts. Yeah. He has six batteries. Just in a nutshell, what can you run on that? You run everything but the air conditioner. Now, if you get a portable 5,000 BTU air conditioner in there, you can run that. During the day. For a few hours during the day. Yeah, just to cool things off. Cool things off. But you want to stay around 5,000, 6,000 BTU because the most you're running is 45 amps. You don't want to go over that 45 amps. Uh, rough airs, forget it. You can forget rough airs with what I have. I got 14 panels. I cannot run that rough air because it will start depleting my batteries. If you deplete your batteries, then you might as well have had the generator on in the first place you're going to have to charge them back up again. Chase 70 degrees, you don't have to worry about it. Right. So if you want if you want to run a roof air conditioner, or any air conditioner, you need to match panel amps with air conditioning amps. So if 5,000 watt uh, air conditioner runs 5 amps, it's going to, or 4.5 amps, it's going to run 45 amps DC. Roof air is 13.5 for the small ones. That's 13.5 amps. That's 135 amps DC. So you'd have to match that panel. So you take one amp AC times 10 is always 10, right? Times 10. You always times 10. What do you do with wattage? On AC. wattage, you divide it by whatever your battery voltage is. If your battery voltage is 12 volt system. Divide it by 12. If it's 24, you divide it by 24, and so on. And uh, if you really want to run air conditioning off the top, you need a 48 volt system. And then that's and a, lot, that it's a lot more money because you got to go up, and then you got to step back down for your 12 volt things inside. So either get a smaller air conditioner or Go away north or stay in the RV parks. Yeah, the, that's it. That's all. So just to nip it in the butt, I wasn't going to bring the AC up, but you brought it up. So just to nip it in the butt, you cannot run an AC unit on a 200 watt panel like you see on YouTube on a 12 volt battery. Exactly. Can't be done. And the people that are doing that forget to tell you that they're running a 5,000 BTU air conditioner in their van. Let's cool it down. It's cooling it down. Yeah. And they're still at a deficit on the battery. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a myth, folks. A 175 watt panel is 9.7 amps. An air conditioner is 135 amps. Do the math. It's not hard, is it? Even a 5,000 BTU, yeah. you're 50 amps, right? Give or take. Give or take, and you're still needing five 175 watt panels. Yeah. Just to run. Just to run the air conditioner, nothing else. Yeah. That's not running your lights, your microwave, your TV, that's nothing. nothing. Just the air conditioner. So there you go. Anything to add? Where can they find you at? Your blog? They can find me on my blog at gotsolarinstalled.blogspot.com or got solar installed at gmail.com or got solar installer 
at gmail.com. We'll put all of his information below. Where can they find you at nine times out of ten? Text. Text. Text me. If you I'll need put to, his number. If you need to get a hold of me, text me. Uh, in the summertime, I'm roving around the country, various parts of the country. In the wintertime, I'm in quartzite. Stationary. Stationary. So. And you are booked up to like 2030 right now. <laughs> close <laughs> you are booked up I'm booked up till October November 2018 but some people do cancel so you never know you never know yeah so get a hold of him he's a wealth of information if you buy the 175 watt panels on eBay some of them are saying sell 165 go to message and message seller Put Boone 175 on there, and you will get the 175 watt panels. And if you're looking for Battleborn, go to my blog. There's Battleborn batteries on there, on the AGM side. Uh, the manufacturer every now and then has got pretty good deals on on those batteries if you buy multiple batteries. And why should we listen to you? How long have you been doing this? 16 years. 16 years. You've done nothing but solar. Nothing. You've but involved. Solar as solar's involved. Yep, and I don't do RV repair or anything like that. I do solar. That's it. Strictly solar. When you started doing solar, a 100 watt panel or a 200 watt panel, how much was I? Well, I had a, I've got 110 watt panels on my rig for 750 bucks. 750. And now you're buying 175s for 165, is that right? Yep. So it's come way down. It's come way It's down. actually got affordable. There are a lot of people that still sell panels for high priced but everything that I sell there is no middleman you're paying what everybody else is paying so you're buying the product right from the consumer right from the manufacturer and I'm not getting much off of it in fact I don't get much I don't get anything off the panels so yeah you're not you're not you're not like a franchise off the panels, the Magnum, the Solar, any of that. You're just leading them in the direction. If they can find a better deal on the same product, sure, more power to you. Right. Yeah, you don't have to go to my blog, but the reason the blog was set up is for those that don't want to do all the running around trying to figure out what they need, this site, that site, everything is on the blog. You click on a link. It's all itemized. It's one-stop shopping. And it's basically foolproof. Even I could oh, figure it out. Oh, yeah. Even a caveman could do it. A caveman, yeah. <laughs> While eating meat. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for myself, what I did is I got a hold of Brian, and Brian will run you through what do you want to do. What do you want to do? What's your what's your future? Are you going to boondock? Are you a weekender? Are you going to the racetrack? What do you want to run? And then he will design it according to what your usage is. Exactly. And it's simple. And you give him a budget, and he'll go way over it. I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, you can buy systems for a thousand. You're not going to do a lot of a lot of things on a system, or you can have systems up to ten thousand and more if you buy lithiums. It's so. just on what you want to spend and what you want to run. Yep. But this system here will just about keep you comfortable year round. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm real happy with mine. I got the same thing, but I don't have the AGM, and I'm super happy. So. Yeah, and this one doesn't have. Uh, residential refrigerator and so he can pretty much run whatever he wants except for the air conditioner and he can run an air conditioner if he gets a small enough one. small enough one so Anything you want to add no you got to go fund me people and pay for your trip buy your beer yeah you can go fund me <laughs> <laughs> all right brian i appreciate it where are you off to now we're off to texas got to be there in a couple days for more installs. And then you're working your way to Quartzsite. And working your way to Quartzsite. We'll be in Quartzsite third week of October. Or we'll be in Arizona third week of October doing installs. And we're down for a month in November and reinstalling in December. Until how long are you going to be in Quartzsite? Till, well, we're installing till March 15th. And then we're down for a rest period. And this year we may have a solar rally in Quartzsite. Eight on Sunday. Tell us about that. I can get closer. Dang it. Uh, the solar rally, I'm not sure. I've never done one, but uh, I'm not really sure about that yet. Okay, but, but if you follow you on Facebook, 
on Facebook on solar powered RVs and boondocking or you can go to Brian Boone and friend me and keep track of me there uh, there'll be more information on it as I go but uh, there'll be some seminars and looking at other people's system and talking about this and that talking about air conditioners uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get some vendors in and see what happens okay. So it may or may not, it's just something you're working on? Something we're working on. It's not written in stone yet, but it's something uh, people would like to see going. And I don't want to run it during court sites hoopla going on. March is going to be a little warm, but you go to rallies in, in the north and it's 90 degrees, so yeah. <laughs> what difference it makes. There you go. So keep an eye on the Facebook page and Hopefully we can get it together. Uh, if not, we'll try. And we may do one in Florida too, so both sides of the country can get one. If we do Florida, it'll be next winter. There you go. So, And when you leave Portside in April, what's the direction you're going? We're going through Texas towards Florida. We have installs across through Texas to Louisiana, Alabama, and then we'll be in Florida June 1st be in Florida all of June and then we're working our way to Maine and we'll be turning around up there probably the first part of October coming back to Florida and we'll be wintering in Florida and now that's open if you are going to take any more work on for the winter right right yeah, now it's that's open right now yep I'm just gonna see how have to see what happens yeah I'm getting okay. booked out too far right now okay Anything else you want to add? Yeah, this is my lovely wife. She don't like to be on film. I done got my butt chewed out last year over that one. You care? Here she is. Now, believe it or not, this is a team, and she does the roof install. She puts all the panels up, keeps him going because he keeps wanting to take naps. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a team, yep. and they are well worth the money. I guarantee it. Anything to say, Sue? No, thank Thumbs you. up? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brian, Sue, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.